Hello guys, this is uh, Dr. Palne Panmanik. So if you have any allergic history, please see what kind of symptoms you had in the past. You know, usually allergy symptoms are classified into two different categories. One is very mild symptoms. It could have like some redness, some shortness of breath, some palpitations, uh, and usually it gets better within minutes. So another group of patients can really have severe symptoms and we call that as anaphylaxis. Similar to the scary movie Annabelle, the symptoms can be really scary. So the most common severe symptom is breathing issues where your whole airways gets swollen to a point that you are not able to take good breath of air uh, or your blood pressure can go down what we call as anaphylactic shock. Either ways, even in the worst case scenario, these patients do very well to a medication called epinephrine. So this epinephrine drug comes in a form of a pen. So the patients can carry around in case if they develop any severe allergic reactions to anything. So they could just inject the medication into their thigh so that all these symptoms gets better in few seconds. So what does this mean to you? Similar to the medication category, vaccines can also cause some allergic reactions, especially when we are giving to millions of patients. It, if you have a history of allergic reactions in the past, it depends upon how bad the reaction is. If it is very mild, like, you know, as I said before, like some redness, some shortness of breath, if it gets better spontaneously in the past, you do not have to worry about this at all. And if you had a severe reaction in the past, in the worst case scenario, that is why we recommend you to be there for 30 minutes in a hospital setting so that we can monitor you in case if you develop any severe reactions, we could give that epinephrine injection right away so that your symptoms will disappear in seconds. And the risk of severe anaphylactic reaction is 1 in 100,000. You know, even a simple antibiotic like amoxicillin, like any penicillin antibiotic, has a risk of anaphylaxis 1 in 50,000. So the risk is extremely low. This is where we should discuss about the risk and benefits of any kind of intervention. See, the likelihood of developing a long-term complication if you get COVID-19 is much more higher than the unlikely allergic adverse event of a vaccine administration. So I still remember when I was in high school, I was allergic to peanut. And my mom was so upset that if you're allergic to such a small peanut, how are you going to deal with bigger problems in life? Huh?